Wall Street rallied on a bit of good news. Stocks recovered from an early sell-off after Standard & Poor's predicted that financial companies are nearing an end to the massive write-offs from bad mortgage debt that's devastated the stock and credit markets for months now. In the end, the Dow crawled back from a 235-point deficit to finish 35 points higher. The Nasdaq added about 20. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson is pushing for changes in the mortgage industry to avoid another housing-related credit mess. Paulson is calling for national licensing for mortgage brokers, stricter safeguards against fraud, and clearer disclosure to borrowers about the terms of their home loans. But there was plenty of bad economic news haunting both Wall Street and Main Street. Oil prices and gas prices hit record highs, and gold touched $1,000 an ounce for the very first time. Shoppers kept a tighter grip on their wallets last month. Retail sales slid six-tenths of a percent in February. Experts were predicting a slight increase in sales. And the ailing auto industry saw sales dip 2 percent last month. And today, Chrysler said it will shut down the entire company for two weeks this summer to save money. That's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for more. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Alexis Christophoris.